Good Friday morning. We haven't had a great deal of rain in the Topeka area, but some of the north and northwest counties have had their share starting late yesterday and last night and into early this morning. There's a shot of the capital city. We do have a cloudy sky, some light showers in and near the area, but right now it's primarily a sprinkle or light shower. 73, the dew point at 66. That's pretty consistent to what we've seen. Warm and humid, a south wind at 5 to 10, and so far just one one hundredth of an inch of rain, but there's certainly been considerably more in other spots. Just beginning to add up at some of the official gauges, but again, there have been some spotty downpours and we'll see uh, quite a bit of that. It looks like as we go through today, tonight and tomorrow, one of our heavier totals, at least reporting officially, is Emporia at 0.43. Some of the heaviest rain now is north of Seneca running toward Marysville and Blue Rapids out here toward the Clay Center area. Uh, Concordia getting some too, and then there's this big batch of rain down toward Wichita, and some of those thunderstorms have been progressing through Wichita and down toward the Oklahoma area. We did have quite a bit of lightning running from midnight to about three. Now hardly anything going on except with some of those heavier thunderstorms to the far northwest. And look at that batch of rain coming on through. There are thunderstorms, though, kind of weakening as they went through Emporia, El Dorado, and also the Wichita area. Uh, but there's quite a bit of rain to still kind of work through. And then we have additional thunderstorms building out here to the far west northwest. So we'll have some morning rain and thunder, and then it may taper off just a little bit. And then there should be additional thunderstorms as the day wears on. Some of the strongest wind is down toward the Flint Hills area where it's going at 10 to 15. But otherwise, not too bad. And I think 15 miles per hour might be about as strong as it gets, unless near thunderstorms it kicks up a tad more. And dew points running 65 to near 70 for the vast majority of the area. But out here to the far northwest, the closer you get to north central Kansas, the lower it is. That's behind the front. And the front has come through some spots. It will not blow completely through. There's not a big upper force to kind of drive it. So it's going to kind of hang out here, waver back and forth. And that will give some spots slightly drier air. But we're certainly going to have lower temperatures because of cloud cover and rain. 67 in Wichita, but 10 higher than that for Tulsa. And as you venture out here toward Goodland and Colby, it drops off. And then obviously dropping off more for Denver and Boulder and Cheyenne Laramie up toward the Casper area. So you'll notice here most of the upper energy is running right through the plains and also getting into the upper Mississippi Valley, but there's not a good deal of push here. So it looks like again that front's not going to completely pass by and all of this action out toward the Rockies and kind of down through the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas will still have to work through. So what we have today are scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning that it may ease a little bit for the late day period and over Overnight, there should still be a few showers and thunderstorms. Uh, a lot of what happens tomorrow might be in the first part of the day. And then on Sunday, I think we have drier weather coming in for Father's Day, and it will kind of warm up just a bit. These thunderstorms should hit by Sunday night and into early Monday morning. So for today, thunderstorms early, scattered storms midday, and still the possibility of rain and thunder late. Overnight, some scattered thunderstorms at 66. I think a lot of what happens tomorrow might be early. And then isolated thunderstorms on Father's Day with an 88 high. Some scattered thunder on Monday, and then a stronger front will come on through. That's when we get the drier, pleasant weather, and that's going to be on Tuesday and Wednesday. The dew point should really drop off nicely. And then there's another storm chance toward Thursday, but after about two and a half weeks of 90s, we're talking about a prolonged period with 80s.